it's a very simple thing. The bill says that if I'm a physician and I have a conscious-based objection, I have a moral objection to something, I should be able to say no. That, that, I mean, that is the freedom to be able to make those decisions as a healthcare professional. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, you are seeing across this country where that is not the case. If I say no, there's repercussions. There are no repercussions in the, in the, state, in the free state of Florida if you have a conscious-based objection. And for that, I'm there. Yeah, that was Florida State Senator Jay Trumbull trying to make it sound completely and totally rational. This new law that they've enacted and that Governor DeSantis has signed, protections of medical conscience, they call it. But it's been dubbed by us realists as let them die act. Because it basically allows doctors and health insurance companies to deny care to anyone if it's based on their own moral, ethical or religious beliefs. That's right, providers and insurers will face no consequence whatsoever. Check this. So the law allows any medical provider, including doctors, nurses, ambulance drivers, pharmacists, mental health professionals, lab technicians, nursing home workers and hospital administrators, as well as insurance companies and payment entities, the right to deny care on the basis of any conscientious objection. This care can include refusing to conduct research and record keeping and denying medical tests, diagnoses, referrals, medications and therapies. And it's not about religious freedom at all. As far as I'm concerned, this is about discrimination and emboldening and empowering those who choose to discriminate against other marginalized groups because they want to. Mm -hmm. More from New Republic. While the legislation says that healthcare providers can't use it to deny care based on a patient's race, color, religion, sex, or a national origin, attempts by Democratic lawmakers to extend those protections to gender identity and sexuality failed. And the reaction has been swift. Kara Gross, she's the legislative director and senior policy counsel for the ACLU there in Florida stated this. This bill is shocking in its breadth, vagueness and government overreach into the private sector and regulated businesses. It goes far beyond any alleged claims of religious freedoms and it's intended to. Just like the don't say gay bill and all of these other very rogue, very fascist laws that DeSantis is signing into law. The fact is, is that it's not supposed to pass constitutional muster. No, it's not at all. It's supposed to instill fear into people. It's supposed to make people want to flee and not be there. It's supposed to bolster white supremacy. So I'm not surprised that it's vague, that is overly broad, and that it will not not conflict with federal law. Because this is exactly how DeSantis does business. Ravana. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly it. There's no way that this could withstand a constitutional challenge. But you're right, that's not the point of it. The point of it is to instill fear in these minorities and let them know that they're not safe in in this in the state of Florida. But I do want to say, what kind of genuinely held religious belief that a healthcare provider could hold that would allow them to deny care to somebody that might result in them dying? What sort of, what religious justification could you offer? to support that. That is absurd. It's disgusting. You know, it stands against everything that these, you know, Christians in this country purport to believe that the people who are passing these laws claim that they believe, you know, that they they believe in the love of Jesus Christ and they love, you know, thy neighbor as thyself. Well, I don't think you would watch yourself die as you drove the ambulance away <laughs> because, you know, you, that person was I mean, it's absurd. It's ridiculous and it truly is just pure bigotry. Absolutely, and what it does is it empowers and enables the bigotry that's already lying in people's belief structures, whether it's conscious or unconscious bias. And it's incredibly scary that individuals who are healthcare workers are now empowered to let that bias flag fly.